So literally two hours after I published my video yesterday about the AMD GPU Pro drivers, AMD releases an update for them. Now in yesterday's video I was talking about the 16.6 drivers and AMD just released the 17.1 driver. And like most AMD driver release notes, these release notes don't really tell us anything. They talk about some known issues and some fixed issues which don't really affect me, but what we're going to be doing in this video, since it's coming a day after I did the previous video, is we're just going to compare the performance between this latest driver, 17.1, and the previous driver, 16.6. Now if you watched yesterday's video you saw that the 16.6 drivers are really buggy and a lot of the games have glitches and things. So let's see if those bugs and glitches are still there. Let's start with Audio Surf 2 because Audio Surf is freaking awesome. You know I keep wanting to say Audio Slave which is equally awesome. So you remember that stupid nasty glitch in the top right hand corner of the screen? Yay it's gone! I mean honestly that glitch kind of blended in with the overall theme of the game but I mean clearly it was a glitch and it's good to see that it has been fixed. So let's storm into battle on War Thunder and see if anything's changed here. Well the frame rate is still lame. Even when there's not really much going on the frame rate is still pretty low. I mean it may have improved a little bit because I don't think the frame rate has really dipped below 20. But as we pointed out in the previous video that's not really saying much. So yeah, War Thunder still isn't great with the AMD GPU Pro driver. So with the 16.6 driver I couldn't even log in to a 3D accelerated Windows 10 on VMware. There's some sort of weird SVGA problem and VMware didn't like the AMD driver. So let's see if that's changed. So making it to the login screen is an accomplishment. Hey, it looks like we've made it! Alright, since we've made it this far, let's try out Paladins. So I've launched the Paladins launcher from Steam. Let's see if we can actually play the game. Loading screens are a good sign. And now everything is black. We've got buttons, but not much else. And a quick alt tab will reveal that the SVGA driver has crashed again. So I guess we got further than last time, but this driver still doesn't work on VMware. So that's fun. You know, a game I forgot to show in the last video was Golf With Your Friends. This is a game that we play a lot as a group on the EGIO Discord community, and I only discovered recently that it doesn't work at all on the AMD 16.6 drivers. When you try to load into a game, it just crashes, and there's like this weird glitch that appears, and it looks really psychedelic, and it's awful. So for the most part, the gameplay is okay, but occasionally you'll see some glitches, and it's kind of weird and distracting. So let's see if we can actually join a game. We get to the loading screen and... Nope, it crashed. Alright, we already know that the AMD GPU Pro driver isn't great and there's no use pounding it into the ground any further. So let's try and end this video on a high note. Now obviously this is Rust and we covered it in the previous video. But do you notice anything that's different? The frame rate. With the 16.6 drivers we were getting like 15, 20, maybe 25 at the high end. Now we're getting between like 30 and 45, it's crazy. I'm not sure why exactly this driver had such an impact on Rust, but hey, it did, and I'll take it. So in the previous video I said that I can't recommend the AMD GPU Pro drivers, and that was for the 16.6 driver. And now that the 17.1 driver is out, you know, I still can't recommend this driver. In my opinion, it's still not worth the hassle of making sure that your card is compatible and getting the binaries, and yeah, I said all this in the last video, but you get the idea. I think that most of us in the Linux community agree, just stop with the AMD GPU Pro driver. I mean, unless they have professional customers that depend on this weird half-baked proprietary blob, it's just inferior to the open source driver in almost every way. Well at any rate, if you enjoyed this video, be sure to leave a like, comment, subscribe, share the video with your friends, and as always, thanks for watching.